This video is going to be about why people bought products like this. This is the Canopus ADVC 110, and this is the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle. This is the Thunderbolt version. I have the USB version connected to my computer. I also have the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. The Canopus ADVC 110 was a really great product to have back in 2003 or even in 2008. All DV converters, for the most part, can capture video. The input is usually on the front panel, and the output is usually on the back side. It's kind of nice because these don't require any drivers. It's basically like connecting a mini DV camcorder. It was a really nice way to be able to edit using Final Cut Pro, Edius, or even Premiere Pro, and see what your editing was going to look like on professional broadcast quality hardware, as opposed to looking at your computer monitor. Back in 1998, and even in 2003, what you've seen on the computer screen a lot of times didn't match what would be seen on somebody's TV set. You really needed a device like the Firewire DV converters, or you could have got a video capture card like the Canopus DV Storm, or the Matrix or RT2000, and I think they made the RT100s. There's also the Pinnacle had their Pro One, I think it was called. So there were video capture cards that you could buy, but these DV converters were really super cool to have. Canopus made a lot of ADVC type converters that were also for broadcast, like a TV station or a video post-production house where it had BNC connectors as well as XLR connectors. So these were really super cool, but as high definition came around, you had to opt for something by Blackmagic, AJA, or even Matrox. If I go to the very beginning and I get motion pass, those are gonna look really silky smooth. What you see on the CRT monitor looks fantastic. As you can imagine, what you see on the high definition TV it looks okay, but it doesn't look as good as the CRT monitor. What you see when you're using Premiere Pro on the computer screen always looks horrific. It looks horrible. I don't care though, because if you were doing color correction or trying to set key frames, you're not gonna look at the computer screen if you got third-party hardware. There'd just be no reason to do it. For example, if I wanted to change where the picture picture was, I would be looking at these two monitors. If you want it to look good on the computer screen, you can always disable the Mercury Transmit. I have keyboard shortcuts. And I wanna say right now, when I play this back, it looks really super crisp and clean. With Premiere Pro, if you want to, you can supersize it. And now I get a much bigger image that I could use for client preview. And what you're seeing on the computer screen right now is gonna look a little bit better than what you would see on the CRT monitor. I'm demonstrating what the computer screen looks like when you're using third-party hardware with Premiere Pro. I'm sure most people would say it looks kind of crappy. I don't consider this a bug because if you're using third-party hardware, you should be looking at the broadcast compliant hardware, not your computer screen. But if I disable the Mercury Transmit, you can see that the image quality of interlaced video looks fantastic on the computer screen. That wasn't the case in 1998 or 2003. Even if I go to this size, what I see on here is pretty much just as crisp and clean as what you would see on a CRT monitor. And I know it's gotta sound odd for some people, and don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of hardware, but it really is the truth. When you're using Premiere Pro along with the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle, it can output a high definition timeline. If I go to the 1080i and I enable the Mercury Transmit, this is high definition outputting. The Intensity Shuttle scaling it down, it's kind of cool. You can, with pretty much any TV, make this take up the whole screen. I've made an adjustment in the control panel, so it's not gonna output to the CRT monitor anymore. But in order to make it look correct on the high definition monitor, you're probably gonna have to make adjustments to the aspect ratio. 
and this is what we want it set at. And it, now I'm just outputting high definition at high definition quality. What I want people to focus on is the circle. It looks correct using the intensity shuttle. I'm going to switch the HDMI input and I want to switch this to Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. And I don't know if you can tell, but with the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, it's not perfectly round. You're not technically supposed to be outputting 4K and 6K with the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle or the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. They're just high definition products. So the fact that you can kind of fake it with Premiere Pro is kind of cool. 